Smailholm Tower can be found on a rocky outcrop of Lady Hill, near the town of Kelso in the Scottish borders. It was originally built in the late 15th or early 16th century by the Pringle family as a Peel Tower designed to withstand attacks from English raids. The tower is four storeys tall and features walls built from basalt rubble that are eight feet thick. The tower was attacked by English soldiers in 1543, 1544, 1546 and 1640. Sometime after 1640, the tower was obtained by the Scots of Harden, who rebuilt and extended the tower, adding a hall house, a second kitchen and a small chapel, the ruins of which can all be found within the stone Balm Pin Wall. The Scots of Harden were ancestors of Sir Walter Scott, who frequently visited the tower when he was a boy. Smailholm Tower inspired Walter Scott and provided the setting for Scott's ballad The Eve of St John and also appears in his poem Marmion. As a result of Scott's poetry, his uncle restored the tower, which had fallen into disrepair in the 18th century, making it safe around 1800. The renowned artist J.M.W. Turner sketched Smailholm Tower when he visited with Scott later in the novelist's life. Smailholm Tower was handed over to state care in 1950 by the Earl of Ellesmere and was restored in the 1980s. The tower now operates as a museum featuring an extensive array of model people that illustrate the history of Smailholm and the stories of Sir Walter Scott. 100 metres to the southeast, you can find evidence of a much older settlement, probably dating from the first millennium BC. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of the Retrolab Scottish Borders Adventure.